This was the rock and roll of the 20s, and it's phenomenal music. My name is Bob Kreitz, and I've had the utmost joy playing with a group called the Pretzel City Dixieland Jazz Band now for about 30 years. I'm John Frank Hauser. 1942, I started playing clarinet. I used to like to listen to the music on the radio and I'd play along with it. I can play today tunes that I learned back in 1938. <laughs> They're all running around in my brain up there. I have a good time every time I play. Maybe I'll be playing it in heaven, I don't know. <laughs> Preservation Hall Jazz Band came to the Fulton Opera House when I was in 10th grade. Four foot taps on the floor and off they go. It's just amazing sound. And I said, I, I want to have a band like that someday. My name is Mike Ober. I'm the trombonist with Pretzel City Dixieland Band. I played 25 years in the Lancaster Symphony, but I d didn't certainly enjoy that as much as I do the Dixieland Jazz, where it's just music from the soul. I was playing music from the time I was 12, 13 years old. Friday night was music night at my uh, mother and father's home on West Stoley Street. In summertime, we didn't have air conditioning, but my dad would open the front living room window. The neighbors liked that. They would all come out and sit in their porches and listen to it. Most of the music that we play today in the Dixieland band goes back to 20s, 30s, 40s. That's the music I like. Not many of the younger people go into this music. One night we played a job in Millmont, nine o'clock till midnight, something like that. When I walked in the door with my banjo, a guy sitting at the bar spun around and he looked at me and he said, can I help you? I said, yes, I want to know where the band's set up to play. Oh, he said, are you going to play here tonight? I said, yeah. He said, you look like you should be home in bed. <laughs> ah, that was a riot. But anyways, the Dixieland band started playing. And there was probably five people left in that bar room for the rest of the night. I get concerned sometimes that the music that we play and love may fade into history. Many people... At first they think, oh, I don't know if I like this old music, but once they hear it, they realize this is great stuff. So I'm fairly optimistic that this is the type of music that's going to last. As I say, hey, we've been playing Johann Sebastian Bach for, what, 300 years? I think we have a chance of playing some Louis Armstrong and Jelly Roll Morton for another 100 years, too.